Ah, oh, that intro rips. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Super Robot Wars X. I'm going to be the host of this series. My name is Chase Kenneke. I am the host of the Gamers on the Go podcast, and I co-host another podcast uh, called The Casual Hour with uh, two good friends of mine. But they do not like Super Robot Wars, and I do. So I'm going to play a little bit here. The plan is that I'll be going through the entire game here, one chapter at a time. I'm going to start a brand new game. Uh, I played through this once before, and uh, it's I, I like this game a lot. Um, I, I like strategy games too. I'm, I'm like a Fire Emblem fan. That being said, uh, I want to play this game for fun. So I'm I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna go beginner. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go beginner. Uh, we've got choice protagonist here. L let's go male. I when I played this game before, I went female. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep his name as is. We'll give him a better birthday though. How about my birthday? It's a good birthday. I don't I don't I don't know my blood type. Is that, is that a thing I should know? We're just, we're gonna go, uh, you know, maybe like a, oh, they don't have positives and negatives here. Um, let's go, let's go A, B. Let's just start this game. Uh, so it says bonus content's been, down, been downloaded. I have some of the bonus content, but I don't have the, like, bonus characters for this Switch version. That's a bummer, and I'm sorry about that. That's all right. We'll, we'll get through. There are plenty of other robots that we will play with. So I've played this uh, before. This is Super, War, Super Robot Wars X. The X is supposed to stand for crossover. And, and by the way, there's, um, there's a lot of Japanese this. That's maybe something to know about this game, is that uh, it doesn't have a, an official North American release, it has an English release. You see these subtitles here, because this game has come to Hong Kong and other English-speaking Asian uh, territories, and that's kind of how uh, Banpresto and Bandai get around some of the licensing for all this stuff. So, well, we just put it out in Asian countries, but these Asian countries need you know, English subtitles. So they speak English, and then people like me can go in and import this from sites like PlayAsia or something like that. Or now you could even make a Japanese, well, a Hong Kong uh, Switch account, and uh, you can buy it from there if you get the uh, proper cards that you probably have to buy from PlayAsia if you want like a downloaded version. This is uh, playing off a, off a game card, though, uh, that I purchased, and uh, it, it works just fine. It's... But yeah, uh, the X stands for crossover, and uh, which is silly because all of these games are crossovers. I don't know why this one is more of a crossover than the other ones, but uh, it's the the story is dumb. They they, they have to. They have to try to smash all of these stories together in some way, have some reason for all these characters to show up together, uh, and they're bad. They're bad reasons. It's not a great story. You're here for other reasons that we'll get into, but I'm gonna kind of go through the story. I'm not gonna read read out what people are saying, but uh, we'll, we'll kind of go through the story bit by bit and, and see what happens. Maybe maybe later I'll go. This sucks and, and just get out of here. Oh, that bird. Got that cool mask. Uh, I'll also mention that the uh, the translation ain't great. Like, it, you, you'll understand what they say and all that stuff. Uh, this is one of the first Super, Super Robot Wars games to uh, get this kind of translation. And uh, they didn't... They, they weren't, didn't know what they were doing, really. Uh, later Super Robot Wars games, the uh, Super Robot Wars T, uh, they, they brought in somebody who is 
from the fan community who can translate this a little bit better, and they've done a much better job doing that. So uh, they'll, they'll get better as we go. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll play T on this at some point. But uh, yeah, let's let's keep going here. Unmasked, unmasked moment. turn for hope or is it just like you're like a sparrow like I've played Pokemon I've, I've seen how you name Pokemon like this literally Spiro the Auto Warlock. This is our first super robot, as it were. Zelgard. Room golems. Uh, so this is a kind of cool thing, if I remember the button combinations here. Anytime you see that blue text in the uh, in his talk, you can uh, actually go around and check these things. So I can go to Spiro, and I can see a little bit more about Spiro. I can see that he's an artificial life form created using dogma. It's Dogma's like ma the magic system in here, but also Ode is the magic... You know what? You get there. That's that's Spiro. And then I can go down to this Odic convergence and Ode is so, so Ode to make a really bad connection here. Ode is like uh Midichlorians maybe, and Dogma's like the force. It's, it's not a big deal. Uh, but this is really they they implement this in a in a usually a pretty good way to tell you more about a lot of these anime characters you're going to run into that maybe you haven't watched these animes, and you can get a better idea of who the characters are, what the mechs are, why they matter, uh, who their friends and foes are. So we'll use that, uh, you know, periodically as we play through the game. Uh, but let's keep going here. Combat mode confirmed. Alright, let's defeat all the enemies. Not get defeated. No problem here. Um, so you'll see. Here's my main problem. There's a lot of stuff I like about Super Robot Wars, and we'll see it as we play. One thing I don't like is these maps. This is this is basically how all of the maps will look. Yeah, there will be some better visuals to some of these, and like there'll be cities and things like that. But it's it's everything's extremely flat, and that's not going to get better. Uh, so we can move. We can see where our opponents can move. Let's see how far he goes. We can learn a little bit more about this Voluntus. 
I think that's the pilot of this room going, going although I don't think they're particularly manned. And you can see, like here, that's what a room going looks like. We can get some info. There's a lot of there's a lot of complicated mechanics here. We don't really need to worry about them at the moment, but we'll learn about them more as we go on. We can get some mech info. We can also see that he's got a range of one to five. That's important to know uh, to know that we will be safe. Um, we can also see that there is on these planes tiles. We've got no defense or no evasion extra, but these forest tiles give us a little bit of defense and a little bit of evasion. Uh, yeah, these, these rivers don't do anything. There will be some places where you can get a little bit more defensive action in. It's kind of ridiculous. We're going to move here. Uh, oh, maybe not, because we're not close enough to do an attack. I should probably look at my own attacks and remember how to play this game. Uh, that's my character. Uh, we'll talk about we'll talk about spirits. <laughs> Uh, well, let's look at our stats here real quick. And what I'm most interested in is this weapon info. And we've got, we've got some attacks that go kind of far. Um, I think the problem is that sometimes you can't move and shoot with some of these. So if we move, we probably have to move relatively close. So we can do... Yeah, there. so we can't do these because... Oh, these actually require morale, not move and shoot. That's a moving fire. This one is moving fire and move. Okay. So we can we can use this nice whirlwind here. Do a little bit of damage. 96%. No problem. 26 to hit back. I think I'm alright with that. Uh, and this is what I really like about the game once he's done talking here. We already know about Ode. We don't need to check that again. I, I think these animations are rad. Like on one hand, this is just Pokemon. Like they they have it's not sprites exactly, but they have their 2D art, I have my 2D art, and all of this extra stuff is just going over the top of it. It's not really affecting anything, but it just, it looks cool. Like, that was just a regular attack of him shooting some light bullets at some people. Uh, so now I'm grayed out, I'm done, I can't do anything, so I'll just end my phase. And we'll let them attack us. I'll go a little bit faster here. Uh, he's going to try to attack us back. He's probably not going to hit us. Uh, so you can speed these up. I think it's with the B button. Nope, the B button cancels it. Sorry. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll speed it up later. But you can also just cancel out of it if you don't want to see the same animations over and over again. Um, so let's do... Let's do Scorch. Let's do something a little bit different. Uh, wow, that guy's still alive. Um, let's take him out. Let's just smoke him with this. We'll see another battle. And that's this thing most that's this thing's most basic attack is a pretty cool looking fire thing. Ooh, room golem didn't stand a chance. Uh, okay, so when you when you defeat an opponent, you can see that score. That score is how many opponents Zelgard has defeated for the entire course of the game. Uh, this this that number will keep going up as I keep playing. Uh, you also see up in the top right corner that is that is flashing that EX count. There's kind of like I wouldn't say super moves, but like bonus things that you can accomplish uh, that you can turn on when you get that meter high enough. We'll uh, show some of those who also get funds and tactical points. That's a tacky uh, 
for defeating enemies, and you can use that on upgrading mechs and, and, and buying other stuff to upgrade your mechs. All stuff we'll get to. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, we're done. End of phase. Let them come to us. And no problem here. Okay, so I think it's actually you hold A. Yeah, holding A runs through the animations, but runs even faster. If you still want to see the animation, you can also let go of A to, uh... Now I let go. Now you can see the full animation. Now I spin it up. We're gonna... We're gonna try to watch at least new animations. And, uh... Maybe I'll keep it on sometimes. Maybe I'll skip them. Like, I'm gonna skip this one. We've seen... Actually, wait, Storm Tempesta we might not have seen yet. Yeah. So we'll let him attack quickly. And the Storm Tempesta will go. The one we put the two tornadoes out. No, this is different. Hell yeah. Tempesta! So he's a bit harder. Uh, we still have certainly the advantage. He's less than 50 percent less than 50 percent chance to hit us. We've got 75. I feel pretty good about that. We'll hit him with Tempesta. This is our strongest attack. Let's see what he does. Yeah, same animation, different skin. Ooh, got us. That's a sped up Tempesta there for you. And did about the same amount of damage. So we'll uh, we'll try knocking him out next turn, and then we'll worry about the other ones after that. Because I'm not too worried about them. Uh, let's go right back to Tempesta. Pick up this dude. Uh, so what I could do, I could use one of these spirits, and uh, I could use this Focus Spirit, which will boost my accuracy and evasion by 30%, which means I could guarantee this attack, and uh, he would only have like a 15% chance to hit me. Be pretty good. Uh, Spiro also is in this, and he's got his own, uh, where I can just use a tune, and I can just say, yeah, I get 100% this time. These make a lot more sense when you play on the higher difficulties, and uh, the you are not guaranteed to hit things on the higher difficulties. Uh, we're doing okay here. I'm I'm pretty comfortable with 75%. 75% is basically 100%. Or not. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not the same thing as 100%. But he missed two, so that's something. Bam. Uh, okay. So we'll skip through this. Fine. Got him. Good about that. Leveled up. Higher stats. Our EX counts up to three. Maybe I'll show off an EX thing if, uh, if that makes sense. This guy's not going to touch us either. Feel okay about that. EX counts up to four. Uh, you know what? Let's let's just focus. Let's make sure we get this done. Let's take him out. Although we are using Scorch as our attack. I think I could go back in and change what attack I countered with. Could have made it back to Tempesta, but the game usually suggests a, a pretty effective attack. Like, if it's suggesting that I fight back with this 
the fire attack, then the game is kind of saying, like, hey, we, we think the fire attack will probably be enough to knock this guy out. You don't need to use up your energy to my energy bar. I'll pull up my health there. That's at 76 out of 200. Yeah. Yep. So the game, the game chose well. Took out these golems. And we'll, we'll have to get to EX count another time. I love a little bit. Uh, so you, you do get more funds and more attack points, I believe, for being on the lower difficulties. We're just you're gonna have to deal with it. I I like playing this game on the lower difficulties because I just I'm here to have fun. So many warriors from so many other worlds. Um, okay, Odic Talisman. I think these are all the bonus things that uh, the game gives you for downloading stuff. All right, uh, we'll have these intermissions. We're probably going to wrap it up here, and I'll uh, do the next mission the next time. But uh, we can go through this real quick. So you can see our pilots here, pilot and then our sub-pilot here of, of Spiro. Uh, and we can go back into these and see, you know, what, what their info is, what mechs they drive. Uh, since Spiro is a sub-pilot, you see, he's, he doesn't actually drive it. I drive it. Iori. And, uh, same, same deal here. But you'll have different pilot stats, like these are my... Wait, this is the unit info. But I have stats too. Yeah, here, here are my stats, so you can see I'm a little bit better at close quarters combat than I am at range, so, you know, <laughs> uh, and you can see on the attacks, actually, let's go to the, to the weapon info, you can see Scorch there on the left has that, that uh, crosshair symbol, so that is a ranged attack, and even though, you know, Whirlwind, Whirlwind, you know, that was me getting up there with my wind blade stuff and hitting people, Tempesta, I don't know how that's a melee attack, but sure, if the game says it is. Uh, and then you can also just see by mechs instead of by pilots if you want to go that way. It gets you the same stuff. Uh, we don't need to worry about all this. Just as you get more pilots and more of these spirit commands and, and different skills, you'll be able to see what they do in case you forget what focus does. Uh, customization. We're not going to do any here. We don't want to spend any of our money quite yet, but we can upgrade the Zelgard and, uh, get more HP, get more energy. You can fill all these out. You can see I can't afford this on the bottom right, but yeah, eventually I'm going to be able to put all these up. The weapon ranks will spend, will cost up quite a bit of money, but you'll get a bunch of extra damage out of things like that. Um, and you get bonuses for your custom mech level. You see it's at 0% there, kind of in the top left. Uh, I think if you get it up to 50%, you get a bonus, and then if you get it up to 100%, you get a secondary bonus. So we'll uh, we'll see more of that. Uh, if I had any skill programs, which I don't believe I do, I do not. Uh, I can buy one, I think, 
Maybe I can't buy them yet, but I'll be able to buy them eventually, and I can buy those things and attach them to my pilot and have him learn skills that will make him better in battle. Uh, it's kind of like customization, except it's for pilots. Uh, there's also a skill tree. It's been a while since I played Super Wars X. The games have generally a lot of the same mechanics to them, but I think on this one... Uh, I, I first have to pick potential. I can spend some of my tack points into potential, and then once I have that as a skill that I can purchase, I can then, that opens up this tree to say, oh, well, I can buy these three now, and if you buy one of those three, it goes, you, you know, it's a, it's a skill tree. Uh, but you can buy multiples of these. So I can buy multiple potentials and, uh, and then apply them to many different pilots. And so there will be some times where it's like, oh, it'd really be nice to have another second attack. On, on some guy, so I want to make sure I'm all the way down that tree. Uh, there are also parameters, so I can get just these uh, more kind of traditional skills up. And there are specials, but I don't have any specials yet. We'll have to see what those are. Uh, these things will open up eventually. Uh, DLC is not going to work here because this is a not... Like, I'd have to open up the Hong Kong eShop and uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so we'll save here. Uh, that is an old save. We'll make a new save for this. Let's just check that it's there. Yep. Chapter 0, Special Scenario. All good. And I think that's where we'll wrap it up. Thank you all for, uh, for coming and watching some of this. And we'll, we'll start this up. There's a lot of, a lot of cool... A lot of cool robots in this. We'll, uh, we'll see. I don't want to. I don't want to give too much away, but there are a lot of Gundams that will, that will show up in here. There's a, a couple of other beloved anime series that you'll see, uh, and at least one of them will come up pretty darn quickly. So uh, excited to see where we get to. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.